here's the finished top it's a really comfortable warm top to wear it's made of a nice thick jersey which i've picked up reasonably i've blind hemmed the bottom and i've blind hemmed the sleeves it's a raglan shirt in that the sleeves are already cut out i've extended it with another piece of fabric and i've added a bind along the neck to give it a nice finish that's a really lovely comfy top to wear in this weather let me show you what you need to do so here's our front piece and it will look like that you attach the extra pieces of fabric that i'll show you how to cut out in the first video you'll sew them on and when you've sewn them on you'll have your piece looking like that then attach the front and the back together when you attach the front and back together at the shoulder so let's get that to match so you whiz down the sleeves join them up You'll whiz across the shoulder seams, get them done. Once you've done the shoulder seams, you'll do the side underarm and under sleeve. And when they've done, you'll go for the blind hem. We're turning up the hem two centimeters. We're turning up the sleeves two centimeters. I'll show you how to do that. I'll show you how to do the blind hem in the video. And then I will show you how to measure and attach your strip of fabric and because it's a stretch you don't need to cut on the bias so the first thing we're going to do let's remove these pins put good sides together so we've got let's do this so good sides together Together there and they're all the same everything should work the same so pop a couple of pins in there out of the way if they're out of the way they won't get nicked by the knife good sides together So let's surge all the sleeves on. Next sleeve, I'm not going to bother cutting that away. I'm just gonna go straight on to the next sleeve. That's the back. And here's the front lay that on top and I'm going to match the sleeve there with the shoulder and we're going to surge all the way now if you this is a good tip I always like these tips little tips. I like to keep the strand strands long because if I now tie that together what happens is the sleeves, the join, there match perfectly. So that now the front and the back sleeve pieces, the seams will match. So I've tied the tails together and it's better than pinning, all right? And it definitely tells me that I have centralized that seam, okay? It's one of those tips and tricks that we like. And then let's just surge all the way down there if I show you that so tying that strand has given me a perfect square there right let's do the same on the other side so the other shoulder let's sew that so start from the shoulder the reason I start from the shoulder and not the sleeve is because that's the part I want perfect I want the shoulder to look perfect if for some reason I've cut it wrong if it's misaligned and it messes up it messes up on the sleeve hem, so the sleeve hem can be fixed. If you find you're having to pull your fabric to match the pieces, you're going to get wavy lumps and bumps. 
in your stitching. Just check over everything. If you're not sure it's met up, I think I might have missed, messed up there. You know what? Just go over it again. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Just go over it again and I'm going to do that now. There we go. Done again. Make it easy for yourself. It's your top. You're wearing it. It looks neat enough, doesn't it? Doesn't that look neat? No one's going to know. I can stretch it. It works. It holds my top together. There are no holes. And there we go. And yeah, that's a good idea. Always check for holes. <laughs> All right. So let's lay that flat. And that's my top so far. Oops, let's get that nice and neat. We're going to surge all the way round. And again, match that up. That's really important over there. So I'm going to put a couple of pins there so it doesn't shift. Because I have to start either at the sleeve cuff I have to start at the bottom there. I'm going to start at the bottom actually. Technically, there might be. I don't think there is. It's all nice and flat. Everything is sitting nice and flat. No problems. Let's do the other side. Match that seam up there. There we go. I like to say to everybody, wafty fabric, wafty fabric, keep it all nice and relaxed on the table. Don't force it to stretch in any sort of way at all. And then we're just going to surge around there. So there we are. So that's effectively our top mate. So we're measuring, basically going around the whole of the circumference. This tape measure is quite big. You could really do this with a piece of string. So that's 12 inches along there. Plus, I need five, 12 inches plus nine, so that makes it um, 21 inches. 21 inches, we've got to make sure that we take some of it away for ease. So 21 inches, I'm going to make this 19 inches. Search the end closed. So, what you want to do, because it's small, you will end up having to stretch a little bit. And when you stretch it, it will help it to sit relaxed. So I'm going to place the pin in the middle. There. Open that up. And then when that opens up, can you see how it will sit up for me? So... And give it a little bit of a tug but do not tug the top and then just pin that round give that a tug again about the same sort of pressure that you applied to the other side the fabric of the main body flat and go back to that side again. I like to balance it out if I can. A nice big tug there. Happy with that. When that's stitched out, it will come out beautiful. So it looks a little bit stretched now, but we're going to put it through the overlocker and we'll give it a press and it will sit really well, actually. It looks like it's... Um, going to be gathered but it's not it will sit nice and relaxed press the foot up needles are out and push it right in there and take your needles out as you go around and pins and I'm making sure I can see three layers of fabric along there and I'm making sure that this main body of the fabric is not being puckered and it is and it is laying flat try and keep everything even and when you get to the end lift your needles out lift your press your foot out and chain off oops let's just trim that Okay, 
let's take a look at that. Brilliant. Okay, now we need to just go and give that a press. So there's our top so far. We've got the neckline done. That was pretty straightforward. We've got the sleeves to do and the hem to do. So let's go and do them. We're going to do a blind hem on this. So turn the top over through. Oops. And I'm going to use my ruler and my pins and I'm going to turn the hem up two centimetres. And again, don't stretch your fabric. So now I've folded the sleeve hem, what I need to do is blind hem this, so I'm going to just flip it over so I just have a small amount showing and I'm going to pin that all the way around and I'm going to pin it so it's just the edge of the hem showing like that, keep going round. And I've just got the same amount showing all the way. So if I line the fabric up, the fold of the fabric to be sitting just along this edge and I have the overhanging fabric almost done. Get rid of that. Needle out, press the foot up and chain off. There we go, just trim that away. Let's have a look. So let's take these pins out. And this is a blind hem. It's not really, because you can't see it's hemmed. But hopefully you've done it well that all the lines do match and they look good. So let's go ahead with the other side. So we do the other sleeve now. Okay. When you reach the end, needle is out, press the foot is up and chain off. away and all the lines should match up there we go oh my goodness that's a perfect line so the lines now match up which means you've done a good job there all right so the last thing to do is the hem so we've done the sleeves we're going to do the hem now so again flip it over and I'm going to put pins so place it again over the free arm let it dangle through, press a foot and needle is up and making sure we're lined up along there, surge away, and that's it and we're done and actually we are done so let's have a look And that's the top all finished so we just want to go and give that hem a good press our sleeves a good press and try it on 